Hi guys, I'm Ben and this is Barkley Builds. Today we're going to look at how to lift floorboards without breaking them. This can help you uh, put insulation into it, fine cables uh, and even fine pipe work. If you haven't checked out my previous video, I'll link it in the description below. That's on how to repair loose grout uh, and tiles. Guys, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell uh, to get notified when I post new videos every Tuesday. Let's get into the video. So what equipment do we need? Grab yourself some sort of prying equipment, either a long screwdriver, a crowbar or a hammer. This can help lift the floorboard. Next go for some sort of screwdriver. I've got an impact driver which might be a bit overkill uh, but equally you could also use just a standard screwdriver. I've got some screws. These are 40mm screws. Uh, they, they'll be for putting the floorboard back down. And lastly, uh, go for a circular saw and probably best to go for some air defenders as well. Step 1. Remove the carpet where you want to take up a floorboard and look for a floorboard that's already been lifted. I'm going to lift up this floorboard here as I know it's been lifted already because you can tell it's been cut along the joist line and the joist line you can see by the nails. If you can't find a floorboard that's already been lifted, you'll have to be more cautious in step two. When we've taken our floorboard up, we're going to use this floorboard as a depth gauge for our circular saw. So as the saw cuts through the floorboard, it doesn't cut any wires, cables or pipes underneath the floorboard. So we grab your circular saw, make sure it's not plugged in. And we're going to change the angle and the depth of the blade. So pop it on your floorboard uh, and move the depth gauge. So we're right down, right down the floorboard. So the the teeth want to touch the bottom, and once it's down, just resting on the floorboard, you can tighten it off, and that is the depth that you'll cut beneath. If you can't find your uh, floorboard that's already been lifted, you'll have to slowly cut down next to a nail, bit by bit either end so you can remove a floorboard that you want to remove. By taking it bit by bit, it takes longer, but you don't, you, you don't end up damaging uh, cables or pipes beneath. Step three, now we've got the depth of the circular saw, we can go and cut the floorboard out that we need. So we want to work out which floorboard we want. I'm going to take out this section and we're looking for the nails because they represent the floor joist. I'm going to cut on this side of the floor joist because if we cut on that side more nails to, to cut out. So as we cut it out we'll cut on this side and then remove it. Step four, now we've cut the board, we can go about removing it. Let's so grab a hammer, a screwdriver, and maybe a crowbar, and let's remove the board.
Step five, once you've done what you need to do below the floorboards, you can start to put them back down. I've got some 40 mil nails, 40 mil screws rather, uh, which we're gonna put the boards back down with. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Coming up in the next month, I'm gonna start my ultimate shed build. So if you've ever wanted to build your own man cave or potting shed, check out those videos uh, coming up next month. Guys, consider subscribing, we'll see you next time.